Ano yung tubig? 50 mare. Salamat naman mauubos na iisa na eh. Mahal naman. One bottle please. Bayad po. Naku, ganda wala akong panukle. I keep the change na lang po. Ganun ba? Maraming salamat. Ultimo nga kamatis. Sandaan ng kilo. Ang mahal talaga ng mga DVD. Ay naku, sinabi mo pa dahil yun sa pagtaas ng petrolyo. Ayon sa Philippine Statistics Authority, naka-apekto sa pagtaas ng milihin ang mga nagdaang bagyo. May report si Bernadette Ries. Dalawang limo piso raw ang budget ni Aling Pearl para sa pagkain kada linggo. Pero ngayon, kapos na raw ito sa mahal na mga bilihin. Look noon kasi marami na mabibili sa 1,000, makakabili na naman sa grocery. Grocery tsaka pamaleke mo dito sa tapang. Ang kataas ang inflation rate noong December 2008, nang kumalo sa 7.8% ang inflation, gunsod ng global financial crisis. After what seems to be a lifetime of pandemic, different sorts of problems arise. Poverty, healthcare, politics, and the economy. All of those have been gravely messed up. People of varying race and different nations and states have all been one of those problems is the massive price hike. From this to this. Everything is increasing. And it is driven by different forces. This unfortunate event may be a shock to humans, but it's actually normal. That horrible event is what we call inflation. According to the International Monetary Fund, inflation is the rate of increase in prices over a given time. Inflation is typically a broad measure, such as the overall price increase or the cost of living in a country. What causes inflation? Natural disasters, especially typhoons, can destroy harvest because of the wind, and most significantly, the floods. It is the main reason why inflation is rising. The crops and vegetables are being washed out by the flood, resulting in a lack of supply in the market. Because of the lack of supply, they will increase vegetable and produce prices. In addition, Human activities like cutting down trees and burning fossil fuels can be one of the factors why we have disasters that can also cause the increase of inflation in our country. Countries with a high level of corruption cannot function efficiently or prosper economically as it causes suffering for society. Being in a country where corruption and graft are very high, our country may also suffer from inflation as a result. In fact, the government should be the one to take action on this problem and not be the cause of the problem. As inflation rises in our country for multiple reasons, it is evident that people are having difficulty on paying the bills and putting food on the table. Especially since the rising food inflation is the leading cause of inflation in our country, it is difficult to eradicate poverty and inflation. However, there are still several ways to reduce inflation in the country that is the collective effort of everyone. As a start, we should vote wisely and elect leaders that will surely help those at the bottom and make sure they have good intention and motives in running for their respective positions. Through this, we can guarantee leaders that will establish good governance and make something happen in their administration. Government should also control the money in the economy and raise interest so that it can slow down the growth of inflation in the country. More than that, we, as a young children, can make a change. No. 
No, the impossible. Yes, the spreading awareness, kindness, and information to all the victims of inflation. Together, let's take each other's hand and, and beat inflation. inflation.